there. This is Jake from the Chasing Quality Podcast. So glad you've joined me today. As you may remember from some of my previous videos, uh, I'm on a search for uh, a couple camera backpacks. Uh, one of them is a multi-use backpack that really just happens to be able to hold camera gear. And I think I found that in the Trident 21. I, I'm doing a separate video on that. Uh, and then another backpack I was looking for was just a simple sling backpack uh, to be able to carry to like sporting events, um, you know, little things like that where I don't need to carry a bunch of stuff. I think that I found uh, the keeper for that one. And I found it in the Amazon Basics uh, camera sling pack, sling backpack, uh, sling pack, I don't know. Um, it was about $29.99 on Amazon, plus a little bit of tax, so maybe $32, $33. Uh, it's a really great little backpack, so let's uh, let's dive in and I'll tell you uh, what I like about it and why I'm going to keep it. Um, cover the outside of it <clears throat> uh, first and a couple of the pouches. Um, so it's, it's um, you know, uh, uh, probably about 18 inches tall or so, about 8 or 9 inches wide, and about 8 inches at its probably its deepest depth. Um, but again, it's a sling, so it's just one strap that goes over your back, uh, goes over your shoulder and, and, and over your back. Uh, it's got, on the outside, it's got, um, it's got a couple compression straps here, which I'll talk about in a second and why those are helpful. It's got a uh, place for the tripod pouch here for various things, side access, top, and um, it also has a, an extra strap here that helps to uh, secure it as a sling uh, so that it's not swinging all over the place. Uh, let's go, uh, let's, let's talk a little bit more about the pockets real quick. So, <clears throat> in the front here you have a simple pocket that is great for carrying ND filters um, or other filters, uh, maybe a, a charger, um, batteries, uh, memory cards, you can throw your wallet in there or whatever. Um, it's got little vents here, which I guess helps to uh, allow air, the, the moisture to wick out, which is nice for camera gear, uh, especially on hot days. Um, you've got these compression straps here, which are helpful for, you zip this pouch here, and then you close these up. When you go to unzip it, those compression straps keep the zipper from uh, opening all the way, so it turns this into a little door as opposed to a larger hatch where your you know, camera gear could fall out from the side, so that's nice. Uh, on the bottom there is, actually the bottom back really, there is a, you see a little uh, umbrella icon there. Um, that's a rain, rain cover for the, the pack, so you can pull that out. Uh, if it starts raining and you can cover up your whole pack so things don't get wet. <coughs> um, You've got the large main compartment here, <clears throat> smaller compartment here. I'll cover the smaller compartment next uh, before we go to the main compartment. So smaller compartment's nice. It's got a bungee uh, strap type thing here that you'd be able to put, uh, you can put a bit of lens there. Um, say I wanted to take, uh, this is a lens here. That's a Canon 18 to uh, 150, so it fits nicely there. It's secure, it's not going anywhere. Uh, you've got a little pouch, a little mesh pouch in the back there. Got a little zipper pouch here on the inside of the, the door there. So fits, uh, it's nice, it's roomy. You could fit, <clears throat> this is a Canon uh, 55 to 250 with uh, an adapter. I could fit that in there. Um, so I, I don't have the full length of a 70 to 200, um, but I would say that I think... A 70 to 300 with the adapter, it would still fit. The 70 to 200 probably is too big for that though. Um, but if you've got a 70 to 200, you're likely not carrying your, your gear in a, in, a, in a budget sling like this. So that's the top pouch. Uh, side, again, this is good for a tripod. It's a little, um, little elastic pouch here. You probably can't fit water there. You might be able to fit like a small half liter bottle, water bottle there. Uh, but it's not going to fit much there, so don't expect to carry a water bottle there. Um, but a tripod fits really great there and has this compression strap to secure the tripod to the side. And then <clears throat> the main <clears throat> compartment. Open it up here. I would say this is ideal for probably uh, your camera and 
three lenses, potentially four lenses in a mirrorless system uh, if they're small enough lenses, if they're primes. Uh, before I get into the actual lenses, though, there is there is this small pouch here. It's got its mesh. Uh, actually, that's, sorry, that's that's not for the mesh. The, the, the mesh isn't for this pouch. But you can fit a wallet in there. You can fit uh, filters in there, batteries. Uh, you can fit a handful of things in there. And then these, I think, are actually for memory cards, these little little mesh pouches. Uh, there are two of them. There is also, on the side here, there's also another little pouch here on the side. Uh, <clears throat> One restriction with this backpack is the Velcro, the hook and loop is pretty pretty well restricted. There's like an L shape here and an L shape here, and that's actually it's not even L shape, it's just a it's just a straight spot there and a straight spot there. So that's the only place to really hook these. Uh, there is hook and loop on the inside of each of these, so I don't have it handy, but if you have another uh, a little divider, you can put the divider here uh, and that's handy. So um, yeah, so uh, it, it fits. You could fit a DSLR in here, it wouldn't be a problem, so long as you're not using lenses that are too, too large. Uh, but uh, I think this is really ideal for, for mirrorless, frankly. Um, but again, you know, DSLR, so long as the lenses are small. So that is the <coughs> overview of the backpack and the um, pouches. Let's go ahead and stuff this thing with uh, some gear that I've got out here in front of me. Um, again, my, my uses for this backpack would be for uh, my, my, my son's soccer, uh, games, my daughter's volleyball games, um, maybe going over to a family member's house for a celebration like um, Christmas or birthday party or something like that, where I know that I only need a couple lenses. I maybe want my tripod, uh, but I'm not going to be carrying too much. So for, for, for let's, let's assume we're going to a sporting event. For the sporting event, I'm going to take my uh, 55 to 250 millimeter lens. This is an EFS lens. This is a native mirrorless lens. I'm going to take this, this guy, uh, which is pretty big. Um, because I need to use an adapter. So it's it's a larger lens. I'm gonna take my 18 to 150 millimeter lens. Uh, that's a native EFM. And then I may take my 11 to 22 millimeter uh, EFM lens as well. Those are the three lenses I would carry. So let's go ahead and stuff those in here. Let's put uh, the 11 to 22 at the bottom. Let's put the 18 to 150 at the top. That fits nicely there. This guy would then go here mounted to the camera. Now, it may look like the camera's not going to fit, but once I have the camera mounted on here, there actually is a little bit of space still where I can close this uh, with the camera mounted. So it's, it's a slightly tight fit, but it does fit. If, uh, if I were using this on an SLR, um, I wouldn't need this mount, uh, and so it would fit just fine um, that way. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. So that fits nicely there. So those are my... Um, those are my lenses. And again, I would put my camera right in there. Can't put my camera in there because I'm using it right now. So you're not going to see that. And then we go ahead and close these compression straps so that the that doesn't go. I've got an ND filter. Let's put that over here. And I also have, I've got my tripod. Uh, normally I'd probably take my Joby Gorillapod with me, although that's what I'm using right now. Uh, it's just so flexible, I use that almost all the time. Uh, but this is a great little tripod as well. This is a Slick Mini Pro 2. Um, if I'm going to be uh, doing a lot of recording where I want my microphone not mounted on my camera, I may bring bring both tripods. This isn't the right backpack for that, to bring both tripods. I would need my my Trident 21 uh, for that, or use my dedicated camera backpack. But uh, I would stick this, there's a loop there, and stick that down in there, and then I just tighten this compression strap here. Boom, done, easy. Okay, and we've got this nice little pouch up here. For this, I'm gonna use my, uh, my Rode VideoMic Pro. Uh, is what I would normally take with me if I'm doing vlogging or uh, some other, uh, uh, you know, some other little event uh, around, um, you know, sporting events or uh, maybe a family event. I have a hard shell case that I use with this when I stick it into my backpack, my larger backpack. Uh, for this, it's not as, as big of a deal. Uh, I don't worry about a lot of other weight bumping up against it. Um, this is rigid enough to, to hold this safe and secure. I don't think this thing is that fragile, but I just worry about, um, you know, damaging it too much, which is why I use my hard shell case and other, 
at other times. But that fits in there very nicely. Uh, a couple cleaning kits, just stuff in there. I still do have room in there too for uh, a snack. I could fit a couple protein bars, uh, maybe a bag of mixed nuts, uh, things like that. And it shuts up quite nicely. And then I just can throw it over my backpack, over my back like this. Very convenient. Uh, the strap I told you about, there's this strap here. This strap will connect here. And what that, that keeps it from moving around too much. So if I'm, uh, I could in theory take this hiking. I wouldn't take this hiking though because I don't have uh, a place for water. Um, if I had a place for water, I would maybe consider taking it on a short hike. Uh, but on a longer hike, I would take my, uh, my bigger backpack. Um, so, so this is here. If I undo that, it's very easy then to just swing it around, which is why these, these slings are great. Um, I can open this here. The door comes out. Boom, got my camera. Uh, again, I would have my camera mounted. Uh, got my camera there. Take it out, snap a photo, and close this back up. Now, you're not going to be able to easily access your other lenses uh, like this. Uh, this is really just to give you quick access to your camera to snap a photo or two and put it back. So uh, you're likely going to want to use your, uh, uh, your, your walkabout lens uh, is what you're going to want to have mounted when you have it in here um, if you, when you pull it out. So, um, so yeah, so then you just swing it back, grab the hook here, if I can get it hooked, and we're ready to go. We can go about our our walk, our stroll, whatever our business is. <clears throat> so again, this is, you know, cost-wise, uh, I don't know if you can get it much cheaper, get a, a pack like this much cheaper than $30. I've seen them, you know, much far more expensive, you know, closer to $100, $150 for uh, the equivalent. This is just ideal. I think that where, where the pockets are um, and, uh, you know, the ability, I could carry easily in the main compartment, carry three lenses. And in the upper compartment, I could carry another lens or two if I really needed to. So I could probably carry four or five lenses uh, without much trouble, depending on the size, obviously. Uh, but for $30, uh, this is a heck of a deal. Uh, I will probably probably abuse this thing. Um, and if it lasts me a year, I'll be happy. If it lasts me three or four years, I'll be ecstatic. Uh, but, but for 30 bucks, I, don't, I really don't think you can go wrong. I'm very happy with this. So thank you to Jeff Bezos. Uh, your Amazon.com is pretty awesome. Uh, that's all I've got really to say about this camera backpack. If you've got some thoughts or comments or questions or ridicule, please put them in the comments below. Uh, I'll respond um, depending on what you say. Is you know I'll, I'll figure out what I'm going to say in response. Uh, so yeah, so give me some comments below. That'd be cool. Uh, if you haven't checked out our podcast, check it out. We're on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, uh, you know all those major podcasting platforms. It's called Chasing Quality. It's not about camera reviews or anything like that. That's it's more about uh, you know philosophy maybe on life. Uh, we debate and discuss various things. Uh, so check us out. Love to have you there with us on that journey. But until next time, you keep chasing that quality because you know I will. Bye bye. <laughs>